according to the United Nations Office of Genocide Prevention, genocide is defined as acts committed with intent to destroy in whole or in part a national, ethical, racial, or religious group. This is exactly what happened to Armenia in 1915. And this is important to me because of my Armenian heritage. <coughs> Armenia is a small country in the Middle East with a population of just under 3 million. And from 1915 to 1917, under order of the Turkish government, uh, Turkish troops almost completely eliminated this population. Despite the large scale of this tragedy, many people either don't know that it happened or don't recognize it as genocide. So today, I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to give you a few basics uh, about Armenia, explain the genocide, and explain its denial. So, first, a few basics on Armenia. Um, the location, as you can see, it's just east of Turkey. Um, there's Western Armenia and uh, the Republic of Armenia. The Republic of Armenia is typically what we refer to as Armenia today. Uh, Western Armenia was controlled by Turkey at the time, and that's where most of the genocide happened, and so that's what we'll be focusing on today. Um, so this is the Republic of Armenia. Uh, Yerevan is the capital, and uh, there's a little picture of the flag. Um, so the language they speak in Armenia, uh, most speak Armenian, obviously, and a little bit of Russian and Greek. And their religion is Christianity. Uh, Armenia was actually the first country to officially adopt Christianity as their official religion. So now that you know a little bit about Armenia, uh, let's talk about the genocide. It happened from 1915 to 1917 and was closely related to World War I. Turkey was afraid that if Russia attacked them, that the Armenians would join because they're both Christian nations. Um, so, led by a new nationalist party called the Young Turks, uh, they began arresting, deporting, and killing Armenians all over the country. Troops would go from town to town, killing and arresting Armenians. Those that were arrested were forced on death marches across the Syrian desert. The fleeing Armenians were uh, subject to the worst conditions with little food and little water. Most died of starvation and dehydration. Those that didn't die of starvation and, and uh, dehydration were oftentimes tortured or killed by Turkish troops. According to the International Association of Genocide Scholars, the death toll is at least one million. That was half the popula Armenian population in uh, Turkey at the time. Here's some uh, pictures of like the deportation routes and the centers of deportation and killing. As you can see, it's very widespread across the area. And here's some pictures of the Armenian fleeing. Um, so, Turkey has never officially recognized that it was a genocide, and many other people agree with them. Instead, they claim that calling it genocide is just anti-Turkish propaganda or conspiracy uh, invented by the Armenians. Some claim that it didn't even happen, or that it was justified. Um, in fact, they're so firm in their beliefs that they try to convince other countries to back them. Uh, according to an article by Dan Egan of the Washington Post, Turkey spends a lot of money lobbying in other countries, trying to uh, prevent them from officially <coughs> stating that it was a genocide. The, their denial not only hurts the Armenians, but it, uh, according to Tanner Akam's book, A Shameful Act, Turkey's denial has even prevented them from quote, establishing rule of law and true democracy in their country. In conclusion, the Armenian Genocide was a great tragedy, and recognizing and acknowledging it can help prevent further violence. Adolf Hitler was quoted as saying, who, after all, speaks today of the annihilation of the Armenians?
showing that he was in part motivated uh, to follow through on his actions because he thought he could get away with it. Thankfully, though, according to an article by Jocelyn Chabot, many countries are beginning to officially accept that it was genocide. And as these countries accept that, hopefully we can prevent future genocide.